we visited Kunazang, the small town near Mount Kinabalu, recently. With an altitude of 1,900 meters, Kunazang is a mountain town with nice scenery and stunning mountain ranges, with Mount Kinabalu as a breathtaking backdrop. We'll show you the places we visited during our two days visit at Kunazang before we climb Mount Kinabalu the following day during our trip. Since we travel from Kota Kinabalu, the first stop of our visit was the Tambaruli Suspending Bridge. Visitors can enjoy traditional dance performance by a community of volunteers at the starting point of the bridge. Crossing or visiting the bridge is free, but um, we may leave a tip for the dancers. According to the local folk tales, the Tambaruli Bridge was built by a British engineer during the post-war colonial period to provide better access for the villagers. However, the bridge repeatedly collapsed during the rainy season due to the river currents. So after several unsuccessful attempts to rebuild the bridge, the villagers consulted a medium who helped them to communicate with the spiritual world. The spirits revealed that the bridge was constructed on a sacred site and demanded fair compensation for a human sacrifice to the spirit who lived inside the Tambaruri River. I think there's only one car can cross at all times. Yeah. This is the This is Bambangan. This is Bambangan. This is the wild mango. Yes, the wild mango. Uh, and macam mana mereka buat ni? Uh, dia sudah this macam dia di perap uh, dengan beberapa. Yeah, dia yeah, dia perap lah. Perap. So dia akan guna biji dia dalam tu dia mm. dia parut campur mm. dengan isi dia lah. Mm. So dia jadi macam ni lah. Yeah. Biasa dia makan dengan nasi. Nah, makan macam ni saja pun. Yeah, dia. yeah. Satu lagi you cakap apa lagi and tadi? Dia ada one is tu hau. Ini ini tu hau lah. Ini tu hau lah. Mm. Biasa dia buat macam jeruk. Hmm. Tu hau ni dia buat dengan apa? Uh, ingredients. Tu hau ni actually dia wild ginger. Biasanya, wild ginger lah. Biasanya dia campur uh. dengan lada. Uh. Ada yang belum kena proses lagi. Makan mak makan sama dengan dengan nasi juga kan? Sama juga lah. Uh. Lebih kurang lah macam hmm. macam dengan ikan nasi dan apa semua. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. This one is what you said. Tu hau lah. So this is the ginger lah. Yes. Uh, this is the tu hau. Our next stop is Pakanabalu. Unfortunately, it was raining with heavy mist when we stopped by in the afternoon. The main attraction in Pakan Nabalu is the Nabalu Market, which sells a variety of local handcraft, souvenirs, fruits, vegetables, and traditional food condiments. Our next stop, Sinala Bakas at Himbaan Bogo. Sinala Bakas means smoke wild boar in the indigenous language. The preparation is simple. Slabs of marinated wild boar meat are smoked over an open fire pit. The meat is freshly cooked only after you place an order, so you may need to wait for at least 10 to 15 minutes.
Despite just finishing lunch, we ordered 10 ringgit worth of sina per customer for all of us and finished everything quickly. We visited the Desa Cattle Daily Farm the following morning. There is a retail section where we tasted the daily products made with the milk. <laughs> for families seeking for an ideal vacation destination, this place offers an array of activities such as feeding the calves with bottled milk observing the milk process procedures and taking an educational tour of the facilities. Next to the Desa Cattle Daily Farm is the Soso Tikon Hill. So we decided to visit the hill after exploring the farm in the morning. The hike to the top of the hill is short and easy, covering only about 400 meters from the entrance and takes just 10 minutes. There's a weaving platform at the top with Mount Kinabalu as a backdrop and the valley and the farmhouse gathered in between. We were fortunate to have a cloudless and blue sky which provide the perfect opportunity for taking memorable pictures. We saw families and individuals of all ages, including young children and the elderly, hiking with us since the hike was not very challenging. Next, we visited the Albaka Club a Queen's alpaca farm in Kundaza. Brown. We can pet and feed these friendly animals here at this petting zoo. You can get close, learn about their characteristics, and even call them by name. We offered some dry glass to, for them to munch and while other visitors are busy taking selfies with these furry creatures. Our next destination is Pouring Hot Spring after lunch. Pourings means bamboo. Oh, this is the bamboo. That's why there this are so one. many bamboos over yes. here. Last time, this place a lot of bamboo. Mm. So, 
for this one people call it pouring mm. so pouring means bamboo Yeah, smoking is steaming. It's steaming. It's very hot. It's steaming. We did not try the hot spring, but we were more attracted by the 43 meters tall canopy walkway. The boardwalk eventually turns into a trail with staircase. The canopy walkway comprises of a six-second suspending bridge made of rope and steel cables that run through the crowns of the tallest, strongest, and the long-lasting trees. From the canopy walk to get skate, it takes about 15 minutes to get to the Kibungit waterfall. We cool ourselves in the chilly waters of the falls after a climb up to the canopy walk. We arrived at the Misty Kunasa Market in the evening. The market was a lively hub of activities, selling everything from fresh local foods to beautiful flowers. Not cooked yet. So this is tarap. So so is in the family like a jackfruit, jackfruit, jackfruit family, yeah. Tarap. This is Pambangan. It's in a in a wild mango family. It's a wild mango. So they pair up, macam ni. Jeruk. Jeruk. We admire the stunning backdrop of Mount Kinabalu with its majestic peaks shrouded in mist. We noticed some sign erected by the local villagers indicated that the blooming of Rafflesia. In the past, we have attempted to see the largest flower in the world at different locations but were unsuccessful due to the absence of blooming Rafflesia during our visits. Determined not to miss this opportunity, we immediately head towards the area indicated by the sign. And we were lucky to catch the blooming of two Rafflesias, one on day three and the other one on day four. 
We stopped by Bon Bon Kampong Marakau to have a fish bar on the first day in Kundazang. It was a unique experience. We held a fish palace in our palms, and the fish swam around our legs, sucking away the dead skin from our feet. That's all the places we visited in Kundazan. Whether you are an adventurous hiker planning to climb Mount Kinabalu or simply just seeking respite from the sweltering heat, you should come to Kundazan to enjoy the stunning scenery, friendly people, and special cuisine. This channel also has other videos about traveling between Malaysia and some other countries. Check it out if you like to travel. We will see you in the next video. Peace.